patients that come in with hand pain, specifically with arthritis of the hand, the most common one that we see is what we call basilar thumb arthritis or arthritis at the base of the thumb. Now the reason why we get this is whenever we're grabbing and pinching and using with our hands, we're actually pinching and putting all of that force through the base of our thumb. In fact, every pinch we do takes nine times whatever we're pinching and puts it at the base of the thumb. So if you're lifting up heavy grocery bags or things like that, and let's say it weighs 50 pounds, times that by nine, and that's how much weight you're putting through your thumbs. And you can see here in this see-through model, there's all these what we call carpal bones here. And there's also one right here that's missing called the trapezium. The base of the thumb joint is between this bone called the trapezium and the base of the thumb called the metacarpal. And as we're pinching, and as you move that thumb, you can get a lot of arthritis, just like in the hip and the knee and the shoulder. You get bad rubbing of the cartilage, and the cartilage over time gets lost. Friction causes pain, difficulty pinching. The way that we treat that first is to help reduce the inflammation, just like with hip and knee arthritis, by maybe bracing or avoiding certain activities. To help minimize the motion here, you can still pinch and move by not moving that joint. If that doesn't work, anti-inflammatories, which is reduce the body's response to inflammation. If that doesn't work, we can inject some steroid to help reduce the inflammation, but over time it may be that none of these um, conservative measures work and eventually we can't use our hands anymore. And so then we have some options. We do what's called a CMC arthroplasty or a base thumb arthroplasty. It's a little bit different than a hip and a knee where we actually take and we replace it with metal parts. What we're doing now is we actually will remove that bone, we call it a trapeziectomy, we're removing the trapezium, and we make this large space here. This large space then allows you to move your thumb and not have that rubbing. But you can see the problem if that bone is missing, the thumb would just fall. And so the example we have right here is what we call a CMC suspension plasty. So you'll see there's a suture anchor in this part of the second metacarpal. We then connect it to the base of the thumb right here, and that suspends the thumb up in air. Now obviously it's not in air, there's still ligaments attached and muscles attached to the thumb, so it stays there. The importance of, the importance of that is that the thumb doesn't fall back into that space. And over time, the body creates this little scar ball that sits in here. My attending called it nature's marshmallow. And what that does is it helps to cushion that area so that when you are able to uh, use your thumb after surgery, you don't have that rubbing, you have that space, but you still have the full mobility of the thumb. The benefit of that is that you're able to fully use it. You don't have that pain anymore. The downside to it is over time, it can fail. It's not common, but it, we sometimes see that. But the majority of the patients that we use this for are very, very, very happy with it. And the whole point of it, again, is to reduce the friction in the thumb so you can get back to using it and getting back and doing all the activities that you want.